in some ways there was an expectation that Conte was going to tough this one out, that he was going to fight, uh, that he was going to try and put some sort of alliance together uh, with the PD, one of the other parties uh, in Italy. Why did he decide to go? Why has he given Salvini what he wants? Right, Guy. Well, that is still a possibility. I think that's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, Conte just uh, really lashed out at Salvini. Everything that could have gone wrong from Salvini, in a way, has gone wrong today. The timing of this whole thing, you can see that was just completely flawed for Salvini. And Conte just criticized everything he's done for a year and said the coalition is absolutely broken and he will hand his resignation. And now it really is down to the president of the Italian Republic to decide whether he wants to explore perhaps another majority, whether he decides a caretaker government needs to be put in place because someone needs to do the budget before the end of the year or actually call an election. But the timing of this seems very, very weird for Salvini because he needed a quick election and it looks like that may not be an option now. Well, Conte has history at this point. So with tax cuts and investments being proposed by Salvini, is that enough to sway parties and, and, and constituents and votes for him? Look, Salvini is uh, polling close to 40 percent, so of course he is now very popular, but I was with him just a week ago when everyone around him was concerned that if they didn't get an election quickly, he could lose momentum. For the first time in a very long time, he would have to answer questions that until now he's never gone into detail. What is his view on the euro? What are his views on the European Union? What does he actually want to do with the economy? Can he get a flat tax done quickly? And now this is probably a moment where he feels he's lost a little bit of momentum and he needs to take questions on issues that he hasn't done in a very long time. And at the same time, I think we're going to see a blame game in terms of why did this crisis have to happen now, halfway through the summer, and did he get the timing of this whole thing wrong? And again, if the president decides he doesn't want to go for a quick election, then we're looking perhaps at a caretaker government. We're looking perhaps at another majority, and that puts Salvini in a very, very awkward uh, situation.